Okay, so what I've done at this point in order to get the battery that I've made to fit is I cut this center piece out. There's a long center bar that runs from there all the way across and I cut the whole center section out in order for the battery to fit. And should you decide to go this route like I did, then you'll have to modify uh, that spot for a battery as well, uh, unless you use a different style battery.
this is the last part of the video that I'm going to show. Uh, this actually shows the operation of the modifications that it, it does indeed work that the battery does operate it without causing any problems so you can hear the motor winding up and everything's cycling through like it should so there you have it uh, there's the mega mastodon with some life batteries uh, some a123s would also work in this thing same same size cells if you can find them uh, there, there are some smaller size cells than the 6000s I went to the 6000s because it gives him more runtime. Um, but anyway, there you have it. The whole thing works uh, after the rewiring and new power supply. And this is going to be a lot more uh, cost effective in the long run. The only difference is now is if you don't have a charger, uh, you'd have to get a charger that would uh, charge up life batteries. And in my case, because of my, my RC uh, stuff that I have. I've got plenty of chargers for him to charge up uh, these batteries for the future. Um, there you go. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, if you have any questions, send them my way.